Hey guys and welcome back to Wiener Wonder. So today I'm going to be doing a quick fill it video for you guys. I hadn't exactly intended on doing a fill it video today but after I read this graphic novel I just felt like I needed to talk about it and I needed to get my thoughts out there. So I'm talking about this graphic novel which is called Dead Balagtas and this was published by Anino Comics. I've written a couple of short stories for Anino comics before and when I heard they were coming out with this I was super excited but at the same time I feel like I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. These are basically four interconnected short stories but told in the graphic novel form and I'm not sure actually if different artists worked on each of the short story arcs because everything looks so varied but also very cohesive. It's like they really really thought about the feel and the overall story of everything which I really 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 love so I'm going to show you guys a couple of the panels the first short story in this is a creation myth kind of thing and what I love is that the myths that are used in this are indigenous Filipino myths and for once we don't have to talk about being colonized and stuff Instead, we are talking about um, stuff that's actually sort of homegrown and it's just so beautiful. That's the first one and elements of that are kind of incorporated into the three stories that follow. One of the stories in this is about two guys who end up falling in love and I won't give everything away but it's so interesting because one of them is sort of this upper class guy from a very strictly Muslim family and he's a stockbroker and one of them is a worker, like a baggage worker at a department store and his family is super catholic and they're less well off but his family is super accepting of him and it's just it's so freaking good and it really got me in the feels both in this way where i was thinking about the bigger picture and thinking about the way that things come together but also i was thinking about the little things too about how i think we all know someone like someone who was talked about in this book and it's just it's so freaking good and the art is so beautiful it's just such a wonderful book and i think that if you are in the philippines get your hands on this and even if you're not try and get your hands on this it is written in tagalog but i think it's well drawn enough that even if you don't understand necessarily you would still be able to appreciate it so yeah, that's all for this episode of Fill It. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!